Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. I'm Zelda Master 2010, and, well, in the previous episode, we got the Ice and Fire Arrows, and with the Ice and Fire Arrows, we are going to be able to head on the Ice and Fire Islands and get the items that are required to head to the next two temples, so we're going to be doing just that in this episode. So, our first destination is not taking out our Wind Waker, actually pressing start and taking out the map, and it's somewhere around Dragon Roost. Islands like south of Dragon Roost Island, so we're gonna be heading south of Dragon Roost Island, locating the Fire Mountain, and you know, heading on it and getting the first item of two. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get going and pick up Tingle Bottles on the way so you guys don't get mad because everybody gets mad when I skip Tingle Bottles, even though I don't need to really read them because, yeah, there's really no point to read them. You know, just read your own Tingle Bottles, guys. What's the point? <laughs> I'll come around eventually to reading them and stuff, but yeah, no worries. Anyways, let's go ahead and head over to the Fire Island. As you can tell, it's right up ahead. We can already see the silhouette. You don't really see any, like, lava or fire erupting. You have to head really close for it to, like, render out. Um, kind of weird how that works. But then again, I'm not going to complain because this game uh, has, like, barely any loading screens as it is. So, yeah, this is pretty impressive. So, anyways, yeah, here we are. We have arrived. It's looks like lava yeah it is lava okay and it's erupting from the mountain so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch our arrows not to fire but to ice and then we're gonna shoot it right at the middle i can't believe i missed that i don't know why i did but i did just shoot it in the middle or just somewhere around the peak of the fire that's erupting and it will freeze the whole mountain and with that well we are now timed before the mountain starts erupting again so we have to hurry up to the top and uh well head inside this mountain. I know it sounds dangerous, but we're gonna do it anyways. As you can tell, we only have five minutes. Believe it or not, that's plenty um, to head up and do everything. Actually, we can like stop and have a coffee and, you know, actually wait for it to get cold and all of that. And really, did did that actually happen? Okay, you know what? I don't really care. I have so much time. That I'll do this right now. I'm just gonna break this open, pick up whatever uh, is good in here. As you can tell, yeah, we got a golden feather. I believe that bird is going to constantly drop golden feathers um, if you keep coming back here. So it's an easy way to get golden feathers if you really want it, but it'll take uh, quite a bit of time because either you have to play like the Song of Passing or like, you know, head out of this area for it to respawn, of course. But uh, yeah, the Song of Passing does work. You can just stand in the same area and it will automatically respawn if you play it. But anyways, let's go ahead and head up to the top of the mountain. It's not too hard to scale at all, actually, and uh, so far one minute has passed. It only takes you like two minutes to do all of this um, if you're doing what you're supposed to do on time. Let's see where the wind is blowing. I, I can't tell. I'm just going to get in. Oh, jeez. Wait, what? Wait, why did I f jump all the way down? For some reason... Oh, I thought my uh, deck relief was equipped to the uh, Y button and not the X. I usually have the deck relief equipped to the X, so that's a little awkward how I thought it was equipped to a different button, but whatever. Uh, I don't really care. Like I said, we have a lot of time. Let's go ahead and just jump. I'm too lazy to do anything else. <laughs> okay, we made it. <laughs> that was close because, yeah, it was blowing the opposite direction. <laughs> but we're fine, and we got pirates trying to shoot bombs at us, but who cares? We're just going to ignore them and jump down this ginormous mountain and see what's inside of it. As you can tell, yes, it's all uh, lava ish fiery. Okay, because, you know, yeah, it's inside the mountain, of course. So just jump from, uh, like, rock slab to rock slab and fight these two enemies, and then that's all you need to do. So, yeah, the easiest way to kill these enemies is to do the finishing blow, or the uh, parry attack, as they call it in this game. And once you kill them, you don't have to kill the keys, don't worry. Ah, uh, the chest appears. <laughs> Look at that! Yay! I'm on top of the chest. Oh no, it's thorny and spiky and it hurts. Okay. Didn't really hurt, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up! And inside this chest is the first of two items that we're supposed to get that will help us on our quest. And the first one is the Power Bracelet. Bracelet, man. And yeah, now we can head out. The time has stopped. Like, they're, they're not timed anymore. Uh, you can take all the time you need to get out of here if you want to, like, browse around and stuff, but I don't really need to do that. But you can actually see the bracelets on Link's hand as well. I find that really cool. And obviously, he automatically puts it on. It isn't, like, an item that you equipped. But the item we're going to be getting next from the uh, Ice Ring Isles, uh, well, that that is something you're going to have to equip, and you're going to see what it is. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump down to the King of Red Lions. 
I'm just gonna use my Deku Leaf so I make sure I don't take any fall damage. That way I fall in the water. Phew, that was close. And yeah, now it's time to head to the Ice Isles. Alright. So, that is uh, located. Let's go ahead and play the Ballad of Gale so we can head there. Oh, oops. Okay. Screw that up. It's supposed to go up after that. There we go. Ah, yes. Ballad of Gales. We're gonna be heading to, I believe, maybe the Forsaken. For no, not Forsaken. I mean the Forbidden Woods, which is the uh, Forest Haven. That's the word. Yeah, yeah, we'll head over to Forest Haven. It's like west of the Forest Haven. Um, I think that's the closest destination that we can travel to. Or the one that's a little bit west of the for Forest Haven, because we could have teleported there as well. Sadly, I don't have that information on my sea chart, so I don't know where that place exactly is, but it's whatever. It's not going to take too much sailing from here, so let's go ahead and just sail to the west. I believe it's exactly west, so... Head around like this. I don't know why we were going east, but yeah, just head west and I yeah We can actually see it as you could tell so it's literally right here like one like block section on your sea chart west of uh, The forest haven, so it's not that far. It's really easy to locate both of them are of course I mean we've seen them before while sailing throughout the great sea at least I have throughout this let's play So I'm pretty sure you guys have if you've been watching this LP of course, so yeah, it's 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 a familiar sight. Uh, this one is a lot more uh, fun compared to the previous island that we were on, the Fire Mountain. I really like the uh, Ice uh, Ring Isles, I believe that's what it's called, but yeah. Uh, I wish I had bait because I'd be able to get the information for this section of the sea chart, but I don't, so I should buy bait next time I see Beetle. But anyways, as you can tell, it's shaped like a dragon. It's like a dragon mouth is open and there's ice around it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our fire arrows and shoot in the middle of the mouth. Or just shoot somewhere around the mouth and it's going to uh, heat up everything. And yeah, the ice of spookiness is going to stop. Like the, the misty ice. And yeah, there you go. And you're timed as well, of course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play. I wonder if this is actually going to like ruin our timing. But I'm going to play the uh, <laughs> Song of Passing and see what happens. Uh, I believe we are still under the same time. No, we are not. And we are frozen. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That was that was pretty cool. I'm glad I did that. Okay, so we are spit out from the island. Because we can't step on this island, of course. Go ahead and shoot it again. Actually, I think I'm too close. Let's just try to shoot it from here. Nope, we can't. Okay. Whatever. I wanted just to try that because I wanted to do this during the day anyways. Because this island looks a lot better during the day, of course. I mean, believe it or not, because you can actually see it better, right? I mean, that's, that's how I see things. You know, you see things better in the light than in the dark, so, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to it and do this. So, uh, I guess you can't play the Song of Passing, because when you do think about it, time does pass, so... kind of makes sense. But, I, I don't know, for some reason I thought that wasn't going to happen. So, I think the coolest thing about this island is this. Eh. <laughs> yeah, Link falls when you're uh, when you're running really fast and turn to the opposite direction uh, he, I guess he can't just keep his balance because obviously there's ice physics kind of annoying because it's really hard to maneuver around this area but I find it hilarious how you can just trip like that while running on the ice and I'm gonna keep doing that just for the heck of it I mean every time I need to turn to the opposite direction I'm just gonna do that so let's see where is the first ledge that will take us higher up this uh, aisle okay there it is so let's go ahead and stop. Yeah, it slows you down though, that's the problem, but uh, it's too hilarious to pass up. I don't care how slow this goes. Uh, I want to constantly fall like this because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll stop because it must be getting annoying. But yeah, let's go ahead and slide down and make it into the mouth of the huge beast. That dragon-like thing. Yeah, you're supposed to head inside of it, of course, if you couldn't tell. And it looks like a storm is brewing. That is bad. A storm with a ice storm and just storm and I hate storms and stuff and that just sucks okay <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, I believe I am going to play winds requiem so I can have it blowing the direction of the mouse so that way I can use my deck leaf just to uh, glide all the way there so let's see I guess to the northwest yeah I'm pretty sure that's the right area actually not really but it, it will do I'm basically you're supposed to step on these platforms to jump to the other side but yeah, I'm not going to do that because that's going to be really annoying. At least I'm going to skip the first two and jump on this one, then head here. Because you can tell, yeah, you know, it uh, moves around and it's just generally hard to balance 
and you have to like jump from platform to platform, so you'll end up falling off it a lot. So the easiest way to do it is just with your deck relief, as uh, shown. Anyways, here we are. Uh, I believe there's a bunch of yeah keys. So try to avoid them because they're gonna knock you down into this cold water, and you don't want to fall in there. Just like that. Uh, I, it, honestly, it went too fast. <laughs> I did not see that keys coming, but yeah, that's the thing, so the keys move really fast, and they knock you down and stuff, and you kind of want to avoid them, I mean, it's better off to kill them before doing anything in here, but I thought I was going to get lucky and maybe not get hit by them, but that was not the case, so whatever, let's go ahead and just head up here really quick, as you can tell, you have to use a grappling hook, then stop and climb all the way up like this. It's generally not too hard, but it does cut down on your time, but then again, it doesn't really take you that long to do this. Let's see, are there any keys around us? Yes, they are. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take out my arrows. And once they come close to me, I'm going to kill them. So let's see, are we safe? Can we head up here? Or is there keys nearby? Alright, let's head up. I think we're safe. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's let's hit it. There. Wait, did I even hit it? I don't even think I did. Alright, I'm just gonna head up because we're wasting so much time on these keys and I shouldn't be using my fire arrows trying to kill them. Maybe I should use my normal arrows. Whatever. Just slide down the slide. Wee! See if I can pick up rupees. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> I'm really bad at sliding. But there we go. So we've made it to the end. I mean, I have to fight anything. I mean, unless you want to fight those keys. But aside the keys, you immediately get the chest once you make it here. And yeah, there we go. So we got the iron boots. We can walk like a badass and, uh, you know, withstand any heavy wind pushing us. I mean, Normally, you don't really see when that heavy to begin with, like, blowing at you, so... Yeah, it's not a common sight, but it's a thing, though, so... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We're just walking through. It's so cold, but it doesn't matter. We have iron boots to keep us, uh, standing in the wind of heaviness. Okay, I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but... Yeah, the, the current of the wind is really strong, so you can avoid it like that. Anyways, in here, there are some enemies. Uh, like moblins, I believe like there's a dark net as well. And I think I want to fight that dark net because I How many let me see how many? Uh, things do I have? Yeah, I'm literally one off. I need one more um, Knight's crest and I'll be able to get this really cool move that you can learn from Orca if you give him 10 Knight's crest and I've been talking about that for quite a bit you know, because it's something you really want to pick up, because it is a really cool technique you'll be learning if you do it. So, yeah, let's just take out all of these enemies. I'm going to save the Dark Nut for last, of course, because the Dark Nut's a lot more special. Um, at least that's how I see it. And obviously, once you get the Iron Boots, the time uh, is gone. You know, you're not under any certain, you know, watch. You can take the time you need to head out of here. So, here we go. Yeah, it won't break it. We need to use our fire, of course, as we've been doing. And yeah, let's fight him. So hopefully he gives me a Night Crest. As you can tell, this Dark Knight is wearing darker armor than the usual one. It doesn't really matter. They're the same strong. By that, I mean they're the same weight. <laughs> These are really easy to kill. And yeah, so there we go. We already knocked out his weapon and all of his armor. And I believe he's dead right now. Yes, he is. See, he's going to drop an orb. A chest appears, of course. We get rewarded for doing this. It's not that big of a reward, but hey, it doesn't really matter. I want to do this. And the Knight's Crest, the final Knight's Crest, guys. So yeah, there we go. We have ten. We got pretty much all of our Knight's Crest from Hyrule Castle when we got the Master Sword when we had to take out, like, friggin' 50 Knights. Even though there weren't 50, there were, like, five, but you get what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, so there we go. We have ten Knight's Crest. Now we can head back to Windfall Island and get ourselves a really special technique that will help us out. Won't necessarily help us out, but it's just generally fun to use. I mean, you can play throughout the whole game without noticing that there is this technique. Um, it, and, you know, it's not really that big of a deal or anything. But, to me it is, because I just think it's really awesome. And you'll see what it is uh, in a bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back to the King of Red Lions. And tell him that uh, we have done everything we need to do here. And, yeah, now that we do have the Iron Boots and Power Bracelet... We will be able to the head to the two islands that are marked on the map. And the first one is the one near Windfall Island. Speaking of Windfall Island, I think I'm going to be heading to Windfall Island to do something. You know, with the whole Knight's Chris thing. And something else you can do now that we do have the power bracelet. But before I do that, I'm going to head over to this, uh, what's it called? Island. And I believe, yeah, this island's filled with rupees. You can easily salvage by uh, just salvaging rupees. You're going to find a bunch of treasure 
um, around this island, or in between this, these weird things. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of these throughout the Great Sea, and they are usually filled with, yeah, treasure. So, if you're looking for rupees, uh, this is a really good place to uh, consider. So yeah, let's go ahead and take out these pirate ships though, shooting cannons, cannon bombs, nest well, using cannons to shoot bombs at us, kind of like what we're doing. I'm just going to take him out because I'm not in the mood. Maybe they take two hits, right? But pretty sure I hit him twice, right? I, I, I didn't know they take three. Apparently they do. Okay, I, I don't think we have to take these out. We have to take out the cannons surrounding the island. Um, but I'm going to take these guys out as well because they are going to get annoying. And for some reason, they are like heading really far away. Okay, now we're really close to this one. So this one cannot run away. There we go. I'm just going to do the same to the other one, honestly. Let's go ahead and head right in front of it, you know? Like, hi, dude, how you doing? Now I'm going to shoot you down. So, eh. And I like how he's missing. Seriously, this pirate ship is missing when we're, like, right in front of it. Alright, makes sense. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and shoot down this cannon um, as well. I believe... Oh, you only need to hit it once. Okay. There should be more around here, though. Yeah, there's another one right here, so it's going to shoot this. Luckily, we can har carry up... Harry, really? Carry up to 100 bombs, so... Yeah, it's pretty awesome, I must say. Like, it's making this so much easier. We don't even have to worry about, like, our ammunition. Just constantly just shoot. If you miss, you miss, you know? I believe that's all of them, is it? No, I think there's one more, but... Oh, jeez. I totally forgot about the, uh... Yeah, the swift sail. It pushes no matter what that same direction you're supposed to be going. So, uh, yeah, you don't see that coming. You don't see that huge boost. Because I don't want to go that fast. I just want to pick up these treasures. I mean, you could always cruise around. It's a lot slower, though. Cruising is just by clicking uh, R, and you don't have to take out your sail, and you go at a, like, you know... Good enough pace, I guess. I mean, it's it's not really fast, but it's not bad. It's whatever, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this one as well. Uh, I believe they're all chests of 50 rupees. So, yeah. And I'm pretty sure this was a lot harder to do in the original version of Wind Waker because, uh, yeah, you'd get knocked off your boat every time you get hit. So, imagine how annoying that would get. Luckily in this game, though, that is not the case whatsoever. Actually, no enemy can knock you off of your boat. You stay on your boat at all times, um, which is, I think, the best thing ever. This is, like, one of my favorite things about sailing, aside swift sailing, of course. Swift sailing is the biggest change, of course. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, so I believe this is the last one around here. Let's pick it up. So I'd say easy 150 rupees in our pocket. Uh, didn't take long to find or anything like that because... Yeah, it's just right here. And yeah, there you go. So, if, if you keep looking around the Great Sea, actually, look at that. Yeah, if you keep looking around the Great Sea, you'll find more of these. So, it seems like we're going to be getting like 250 rupees from here. Because this is another 100 just right in front of us that we can easily salvage. Uh, yeah. Who knew it was really this easy to do all of this? But it is. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I must say, why why would I complain about this? I mean, look at that, just purple rupees all day, every day. Well, all night actually, because it's nighttime, of course. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice nighttime, you know? It's, it's always peaceful. Just like I said before, I believe I mentioned this before, if there were nighttime music, I would enjoy the nighttime experience of Wind Waker a lot more, because, yeah, I, I just don't like it being silent and all. I prefer, like, peaceful music, like, uh, peaceful rendition of the great sea theme, you know? I think that would have fit perfectly. That would have been amazing. I bet everybody would enjoy nighttime, like just sailing in the night. But yeah, anyways, go ahead and grab this tingle bottle and pick up the chest that appeared after taking out the three or the four cannons that were surrounding this island. And yeah, so we can easily get that. It's it's a nice reward as well. I think this is actually something important. So let's see what it is. Let's play Wind's Requiem. It feels weird playing it, even though it's like the only thing you do in the original Wind Waker, but in this game, like, you hardly play it, so it's like, it just feels weird. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and make our way over here, drop down, and open up this chest. So yes, the light is so bright, still haven't came up with lyrics, but we got ourselves a treasure chart, yes. So that's another pretty important thing we got from this island. I mean, it's, the rupees weren't as important, but you get what I mean. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and have the wind blow towards the King of Red Lions, which will be, like, maybe... I'll just have it north, because, yeah, I, I don't think... 
I can swim all the way to him. And even if I do, it, it would get really repetitive because it would take forever to do. So I'm just going to, yeah, use all my magic to head over to the king of red lions. And we don't have to worry, since we are heading back to Alicent Island right now, I can easily drink grandma's potion and get a refill so yeah uh let's go ahead and have head over to outset island and see what we can do there and then we'll be able to continue on with our quest with the whole uh uh you know powering up the master sword thing by heading to the two islands and obviously the first one is going to be right by outset island so it's a good thing i'm heading to outset island so i can just head to this island right over there uh after that so yeah i'll see you all in the next one